Designing deep learning architectures for robotics is complicated, and we aim to simplify it in three main ways. First, we've created a publicly available block stacking dataset for the benchmarking of neural networks. Second, a generalized meta model called Hypertrees. And third, an adaptation of a recent architecture search technique. The robot's goal in the dataset is to stack blocks three tall. Execution uses traditional geometric planning algorithms, and each stacking attempt consists of five separate goals. In this example, goal one is to grasp the blue block. Goal two is to take the blue block and place it on the yellow block. Goal three is to grasp the red block, and goal four is to take the red block and place it on both the yellow and blue block. The final goal five is to move to the home position. These goals vary with each example. The data set includes substantial lighting variation. There are also reflections and difficult object placements. Furthermore, the environment is not fixed and the bin can move during stacking. Correct object orientation is also necessary for successful stack. The data set includes depth data and a plush subset is available. There are over 10,000 stacking attempts in total. Next up is hypertrees. We noticed similarities amongst many neural network architectures and parameterized across this space. The parts are built from other leading image architectures and can be swapped to optimize for a new domain. In addition to changing the network architecture, we can change the number of layers, filters, or blocks for each model. We evaluate predicting absolute gripper position at each goal time step for a given action and we optimize across thousands of possible model architectures. Even among the nine best models, the importance of architecture optimization over a meta-model is clear. Next up, we discuss RENAS, or Regression Efficient Neural Architecture Search. In its predecessor, ENAS, an LSTM predicts architectures in a meta-model, and meta-model weights are not discarded during the search, dramatically increasing search efficiency. RENAS extends ENAS's so-called micro-search space to regression with a new loss and reward function to minimize error. We also parameterize the input data and reduction cells. Normal cells keep the width and height of weights the same at the input and output, while reduction cells have it. The architecture of our best rotation model is pictured here. Detailed analysis of the final models and their performance can be found in the accompanying paper. Next up, we will demonstrate the viability of our grass predictions on RGB-only data for single block and multiple block conditions. This qualitatively demonstrates the viability of our data set and benchmarks. Here is an example grasp with multiple blocks. Here the action is locked to grasping the red block. Notice the change in pose estimates as the block leaves the scene. Our model is trained on success data only and thus cannot account for this situation. Here you can see how using the robot end effector pose as an input to the neural network allows pose refinement as a goal is approached. You can also see grass positions update as the block is moved around the scene. Estimate updates occur about once every four seconds and are running on the CPU. We hope future GPU-based execution will enhance performance dramatically so that multiple updates can be made as the robot approaches a goal. Thanks for watching.